So today's practice will be a yin yoga class, which means that we'll be taking postures really slow, focusing on the breath and really allowing our body to loosen by getting deep into the body's connective tissue. So the postures will be held for a little bit longer than normal. I'll be cueing breath work techniques, which really help guide with stress and anxiety. And I hope you guys really benefit a lot from this practice as I know you guys have a lot going on. So grab your mat, let's have some fun and move our bodies together. So if you can come on to a laying down position all the way onto your back. Relaxing the arms down by your side. Shoulders down and back away from your ears. Closing the eyes. Feeling the support of the mat beneath you. Let's take a nice deep belly breath in through your nose. Puffing up the belly, filling the diaphragm. And then taking a cleansing open mouth exhalation out through your mouth. Again, deep breath in for a count of four, three, two, one. As you exhale out through the mouth for an equal exhalation for four, three, two, one. Again, deep breath in for four, three, two, hold at the top as you exhale through the mouth for a count of four, three, two, one. So continuing with this breath on your own, allowing the belly to rise and fall, allowing the rib cage to expand wide, really filling the lungs with oxygen. So as we slow the breath, we also slow the heart rate. We allow for the parasympathetic nervous system to reset. And this nice deep breath work technique of filling all the way to the top, and exhaling really supports us in disconnecting from our thoughts or our monkey mind and connecting to our body and the present moment. So taking a few more nice deep breaths, setting the foundation of the next 45 minute practice. Inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth. Now on your next inhale, begin to bend both knees, bringing the soles of your feet together, knees open wide. And just allowing gravity to draw the knees open, beginning to open up through the hips. And then we bring in some arm circles here, matching breath to movement. So inhale, reach both arms up and back, biceps by the ears. And on your exhale, draw the arms out to a T, down and around by your side. Again, inhale, reach both arms up and back. Exhale, out and around. One more inhale, reach. Lengthen the spine and exhale. Now switching the direction of the arm circles. Inhale, arms come out to a T, fingertips graze the ground. And on your exhale, reach the arms up towards the sky, down by your side. Again, feel the expansiveness of the breath. Inhale, reach them out and up. Exhale towards the sky, down by your side. One more like that, make it your deepest breath. Inhale, reach out and up. Exhale to the sky, down by your side. Now flip the palms up towards the sky, 
guide the knees back together to touch and then draw both knees in towards your chest as you gently rock from side to side, closing off the hips here. So giving your sacrum, your lower back, a bit of a massage. And then when you're ready, come back to neutral and bring the right ankle on top of your left thigh, coming into a figure four position. So threading the needle, interlacing the fingers on top of the left shin as you simultaneously draw the left knee in towards your chest and the right knee away from your body. And you can do that by connecting the elbow to the inside of your thigh, bringing the legs into the shape of a figure four position. Let's flex the right toes back. That'll help protect your right knee. And you should be feeling this stretch in the outer glute piriformis area. Three deep breaths here. Inhale through your nose. Exhale through your mouth. Inhale. Exhale. One more breath, draw the left knee a little closer into the chest. And exhale. Now slowly beginning to interlace the fingers behind the left thigh or knee. Beginning to wake up the hamstring here. So inhale as you straighten the left leg up towards the sky. Exhale as you bend the left knee 90 degrees. And again, you can use that elbow to right thigh connection to create some space in the right hip flexor. As you inhale, draw left leg high, hamstring stretch, and exhale. Keep the lower back flushed against the mat. Inhale, lengthen, feeling the stretch in the left hamstring, and exhale. Two more like that. Inhale. Exhale. Last one. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Now release the interlace. Keep crossing the right knee over the left knee. And then grab onto your ankles. Flex the feet back. Simultaneously draw the ankles apart as you draw the right knee in towards your chest. So you may feel this as intensely as I am right here in the right outer glute area. Just being mindful of that. If you don't feel the stretch, keep drawing the ankles apart. And keep your hips squared. Three deep breaths here. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Inhale, nose. Exhale, mouth. One more deep breath in. Deep breath out. Now keeping the cross, bring the feet down to the mat. Pick up your hips, bring them over to the right. And then guide your knees across your body with your left hand, coming into a supine twist. Right arm extends out to a T, so your shoulder, elbow, and wrist are in one line. Feeling the stretch in the lower back, outer glute, maybe some IT, just depending on where you feel tight is where you'll feel the lengthening of the muscles here. And if you feel some pinching in the hip flexor here, Option to bring the left palm to the inside of the thigh as you press that thigh away from your body. You'll also feel a lengthening in the backside spine, mid back to low back. Holding here, let's take five deep breaths. Closing the eyes, feeling the nice rhythm of your breath. Inhale through your nose. Exhale through your mouth. 
Again, deep breath in, deep breath out. Inhale. And exhale. Two more breaths. Make them nice and deep. Finding your limit, finding your edge on this next breath, filling the belly, the diaphragm with an open mouth, cleansing exhale through the mouth. Now using the core, taking your time, uncross the knees first as you draw the navel in and up, protecting your lower back to bring both knees back to center, hips to neutral. I always like to reset the spine here. So gently draw knees into your chest and rock side to side. Notice how that sequence and variation feels on the right side compared to the left, which we have not yet stretched. So option to draw circles with the knees, moving them in one direction, switching the direction. So like egg beaters, just organically moving the knees to release out of that side. And then we'll do that same sequence and variation on the other side, which may feel a little different. So we'll begin by picking up the left foot, placing the left ankle on top of the right thigh, coming into that figure four position. So threading the needle, interlacing the fingers on top of the shin. Lower back stays rooted into the mat. You can do that by drawing the navel in towards the spine and simultaneously drawing right knee in towards your chest as you draw left knee away from your body. Deep breath in through your nose. Open mouth, exhale. Inhale. Exhale. So this side always feels tighter for me. Instead of judging my body, I just come to the awareness that, yeah, this side needs a little bit of extra love and attention by me. So on my exhales, I send deeper breath into that body part. So imagining with my eyes closed, sending my breath into the places that feel tight or restricted here. Being compassionate with my thoughts towards myself, being compassionate with listening to any modifications that my body may need. And then slowly changing the interlace of the fingers behind the kneecap. Inhale as I straighten the right leg up towards the sky, flexing the toes back. That will really activate the hamstring. And then slowly bending my right knee 90 degrees. Again, inhale, straighten and lengthen. Exhale as I bend. So like a rubber band, lengthening and bending. Lengthening and bending. About three more breaths here. Inhale, exhale. And notice with every lengthening and exhale, how much deeper you go into the stretch. Taking one more round. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, bend, releasing the interlace and keep crossing the left knee over the right, grabbing onto the ankle. So right hand comes to the left ankle, left hand comes to the right ankle, and then simultaneously drawing the ankles apart from one another as I draw the knees in towards my chest. So I'll, I feel this in my left outer glute now. And if 
the ankles are not attainable here, you can always interlace the fingers behind the thigh and just naturally allowing your ankles to draw open, but keeping the interlace behind the thigh as you draw the knees in towards your chest. So there's always modifications. Our bodies react to things differently. So just honoring where you are in your body, knowing that every day is different. Taking one more deep breath in here, find your limit, find your edge, and then slowly bring the feet down to the mat, keep the cross of the knees, and then pick up the hips, bring the hips over to the left, and then gently guide both knees over to the right, coming into a supine twist. So my right palm is here to guide the knees over and my left arm extends out to a T. Shoulder, elbow, and wrist all in one line. Taking a nice deep inhale. Little more challenging to breathe in our twist here because our lungs are kind of restricted in this position. So see if you can really puff up the belly and exhale. Again, inhale through the nose. Gaze to the left, root your left shoulder down. And exhale as you twist a little bit deeper. So the breath is our guide here. It allows us to get even deeper into poses. Deep belly breath in. Cleansing breath out. About three more breaths, inhale. Noticing how the muscles begin to relax on the exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Last one, make it your deepest, most expansive breath, filling the diaphragm. And exhale. Now to come out of this pose, slowly we uncross the knees first, engage the core to protect your lower back, and then slowly guide the knees back up towards the sky. Hips come back to neutral as you gently pull both knees in towards your armpits, rocking it side to side. Now, elbows will come to the inside of your knees, grabbing outside soles of your feet. Before we come into full extension of happy baby, let's begin to open up the hips. So starting with soles of your feet together, using the elbow to the knee or calf connection to press the knees away. And bringing the heels down as close as you can towards the glutes. Three deep breaths here, making this a pretty active pose in the upper body. And notice if the lower back wants to lift off of the mat here. See if you can press and root it down. Option to stay here, or if you wish to go a little bit deeper, flexing the feet up towards the sky, drawing down on the outer knife edge corners of the feet or the ankles. So listen and modify what's attainable for you. And then slowly rock from side to side. Knees stay open. This allows us to get nice and deep into the hips. Three deep breaths here. Inhale through your nose. Exhale through your mouth. Again, inhale through your nose. Exhale through your mouth. Inhale, come back to the center. Exhale as you release the soles of your feet down to the mat, but the feet are gonna toe heel wider than the mat. 
So you internally find a rotation in the hips, feet wide, knees knock in towards one another. So they may not touch. You're just bringing that internal rotation into the hips after we just opened and did all that external rotation. So this is a counter stretch. Grabbing opposite arm to bicep above your head. Allowing gravity to draw the shoulders back, finding a lengthening in the spine. So I feel this pretty intensely right in this area on both sides. If you don't feel this pose, toe heel the feet even wider and allow the knees to knock in towards one another. Keep the feet here and gently windshield wiper both knees to the right and both knees to the left. Both knees to the right and both knees to the left. One more time to the right and to the left. Come to the right and hold the knees here. If you feel this pretty intensely in the pose, just stay right here. If you wish to go a little deeper, pick up the right foot, place it on the outside of the left thigh. So the ankle adds a little bit more pressure to get you deeper into the stretch. Close your eyes. Take three nice deep breaths here. Puffing up the belly on your inhale. Taking a cleansing open mouth exhale. Allowing your body to reset. Sometimes when we're in a fight or flight, our breath gets constricted and we do shallow breathing. So taking this time on the mat here allows you to really focus on the breath, giving yourself the opportunity to create this moving meditation, both for your body and for your mind. Let's take one more inhale. Exhale, come back to center. Keep the feet wider than the mat. And then let's just do one round of windshield wipering to come out of that. I really felt that one. And then bring both knees to the left and hold right here. So feet wider than the mat, both knees to the left. Variation one, hold right here. If you feel this on the right side. If you wish to go a little bit deeper, pick up the left foot, place it on the outside of the right thigh. Relax here. And then observe and notice how this side feels. Maybe a little different than the other. Option to keep the hands exactly where they are, or you can bring them out to a T or down by your side. So always listening to your body. What feels good for me may feel different for you and vice versa. So two more nice lengthening breaths. Now slowly use your core to bring the knees back to center and cross the ankle if that was on top of the right thigh. And then toe heel the feet back to the mat and bring your knees in towards your armpits, rocking side to side. So noticing what it feels like to come out of that pose. Good. Now we'll begin to come into a bit of a side body stretch. So straightening both legs forward. If you have lower back issues, keep the core nice and tight and just straighten one leg at a time. Reach your arms above your head. 
Grab onto your right wrist with your left hand. Pick up your head, neck, and shoulders, and then place that over towards the left edge corner of your mat. Now slide the left heel over and pick up the right heel, slide it over. My hips and my shoulders are down on the mat, and I'm creating space all the way from my elbow on the right side to my shoulder, my rib cage, down towards my hips, ankle. And if you wish to go a little deeper in this posture, you can pick up the right ankle, crossing it over the left and then utilizing the left wrist to really pull the right wrist over. So your body is in the shape of a half moon here. Close your eyes, relaxing the muscles, just allowing the magic to take place in your body. Deep breath in through your nose. Cleansing, open mouth, exhale. Again, deep breath in. Deep breath out. Inhale. And exhale. One more breath, inhale. And exhale. Slowly uncross the ankles if they're crossed. Release the wrist. Pick up the head, neck, and shoulders. Bring that back to the mat. And the heels come back to the center of the mat. Take some time to shake out the arms, shake out the legs. And then when you're ready, straighten both legs forward, reaching the arms above your head. This time we grab onto the left wrist, pulling to lengthen the spine, and then pick up the head, neck, and shoulders. Bring that over towards the right edge corner of your mat. Slide the right heel towards the right edge corner. Left heel follows. So the left hip and the left shoulder naturally want to come off of the mat here. See if you can rotate them down. And then if you wish to go a little bit deeper into the posture, picking up the left ankle, crossing it over the right. Relaxing the head. The left arm is pretty active. Feeling the stretch in your left side body now. Let's all breathe together. Inhale through your nose. Cleansing, exhale. Relaxing the hips, relaxing the lower back. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Three more breaths. Now to release, uncross the ankles if they're crossed, releasing the wrist, pick up the head, neck, and shoulders. Bring everything back to the center of your mat, bending the knees and then shaking it out. Shake, 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 shake. Good. And then let's rock and roll three times, forward and backwards along the length of your spine. And on the third rock, crossing your ankles, planting the palms, moving into a tabletop position here. So finding a few rounds of cat-cow, inhale as you drop your belly, look up, exhale, chin to chest, round your spine. 
Again, inhale. Exhale. Last round. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale as you come to a flat back. Spread the fingers wide. And bring your right arm out to a T. Now reach the right arm up towards the sky, pressing into the left arm to really twist the right shoulder back. Inhale. Exhale, thread the right arm through, hover the shoulder and ear one inch from the mat. Two more like that. Inhale, reach, twisting, rinsing the spine. Exhale, thread. Last one. Inhale, bring it back up, use the core, move and twist a little bit wider. And on your exhale, right shoulder, right ear lands down to the mat. Left palm can stay exactly where it is or crawl the left fingertips forward. Option to stay here or bring the left hand behind your lower back, connecting to the right inner hip crease. And if you're in this pose, Try to peel the left shoulder open, twisting through the torso here. Three deep breaths. Notice where you're feeling the stretch. Maybe there's a little bit of tightness in the shoulder or the neck. Taking one more inhale. Exhale, if you're in that half bind, release the left palm underneath the left shoulder. Use the core to press back up. Coming back up and out, reaching the right fingertips up to counter stretch. Noticing how much further you've gone. And exhale as you bring the right palm down. Coming into a child's pose before we go into the other side. So opening the knees wider than the hips, crawling the fingertips forward, melting your chest and forehead down to the mat. Taking a few deep breaths here to reset. Breathing into the back side of the lungs, into your kidneys, flushing out any toxins with your breath here. So that is a big detoxifying pose. Taking one last inhale. And on your exhale, pressing into your palms, coming back into that tabletop position. Shoulders stacked over the wrist. Knees hip width distance apart. This time we'll bring the left arm out to a T, shoulder, elbow, and wrist in one line. And then slowly beginning to open the left arm up towards the sky, peeling the left shoulder open. Take an inhale. Exhale, thread the left arm, hover, and then bring it back up. Two more like that. Inhale, reach. Exhale, use the core, twist, hover. Last one, inhale, reach, lengthen. Exhale, thread the needle, left arm underneath the right armpit. Option to keep this right palm where it is or begin to crawl the right fingertips forward, gazing underneath your right armpit and up towards the sky. My hips stay squared and neutral here. And then if you wish to come into a half bind, right palm comes behind your lower back, connecting to the inside of the left hip crease. And then with that connection allows me to open the right shoulder, gazing up towards the sky. Three deep breaths here. Inhale, puff up the belly. Exhale. 
Inhale. Exhale. Last one. Inhale. And exhale. Half binds. Release. Plant the right palm underneath the right shoulder. Use the core to lift your chest. Plant the right palm underneath the shoulder. Reach the left arm up towards the sky. Inhale, gaze up. Exhale, plant the palm. Come into our second round of child's pose. Walk the knees wider than the hips. Reach the fingertips forward. Allow your forehead to sink into the mat. And then notice the spine and the lower back here. Observing if any tension has released. I know I've been doing a lot of sitting, so these twisting motions really help alleviate any pain that I've been feeling in my lower back. Let's take one more inhale and slowly walk the hands back on our exhale and then coming into a seated position. So we're going to cross the right knee over the left knee. We were here on our backs before. So you're going to stack the knees on top of one another as much as you can and then reach the right arm up towards the sky. Bring the left hand behind you, bend the right elbow and try and connect the fingertips behind you. Inhale as you lift the chest, lengthen the spine. And on your exhale, slowly begin to hinge your weight forward. So you'll feel this in the right outer glute. And then you'll feel this left shoulder head beginning to open. Three deep breaths. Keeping the collarbones and the chest wide, allowing for the breath. One more inhale. And exhale as you release the hands, shake it out. And your left hand is gonna come to the outside of your right knee, right fingertips behind you as you come into a gentle twist, beginning to gaze over the right shoulder. So using the wrist to knee connection to allow you to twist. Again, a really nice detoxing pose here. One more deep breath in. Twist gaze over your right shoulder on your exhale. And then slowly bring it back to center. Straighten both legs and then shake that out. Shake, 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 shake. Seated, um, reaching for the toes. So we'll do this before moving into the other side of Gomukhasana. Inhale, reach the arms high. Exhale, forward fold, beginning to reach for the calves, the ankles, or the toes here. So try not to round into the spine here. Keep the shoulders down and back away from your ears as you hinge at the hips. So we don't want to create tension in our neck and our shoulders. Let's take one more inhale, flex the toes back, and exhale, melt it deeper. And then slowly coming out of that pose, coming into our Gomukhasana, other side. So left knee stacks over the right, grabbing onto the ankles, drawing them apart. This might look like this for you. That's great, wonderful. Looks different for everyone. Left arm up towards the sky this time, bending the elbow. 
right hand will come behind you, trying to connect the fingertips behind your back. Inhale, lifting the chest. Option to stay here if you feel this stretch already, or slowly begin to hinge forward, feeling the stretch in the left outer glute. I feel this in the right shoulder head as that is beginning to peel back. Three deep breaths here. Relax the hips. Spine stays nice and long. Collarbones wide. Inhale through your nose. Exhale through your mouth. And inhale, exhale, last deep belly breath in, and exhale, slowly releasing the hands, shaking that out, however that feels good to you. Left hand plants behind you, reaching the right arm up to the sky, and on your exhale, connecting the right wrist to the outside of the left knee. Gently guiding yourself into a twist. Taking a nice deep breath in, lengthen the spine, root down into your sits bones. And on your exhale, twist, gaze over the left shoulder. Again, inhale, exhale, twist. Last one, deep breath in. Deep breath out. Slowly bring this back to center. Straighten the left leg first and then the right. Shake it out, shake, 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 shake. And then slowly bending both knees, soles of your feet together, knees open wide. So we were also here on our back. Thumbs come to the inside arches of the feet, peeling them away from each other. That naturally allows the knees to open wide, getting nice and deep into the hips. Holding here. And then when you're ready, slowly beginning to walk the hands forward until you feel this openness in the hip flexors and the inner groin area. With every exhale, see if you can melt a little bit deeper into the pose. One more inhale. Exhale, begin to walk the hands back. Bring the palms to the outside of your knees. Guide them back together. And then walking the feet wider than the hips, hands come behind you. And then windshield wipering both knees to the right and both knees to the left. So noticing that internal rotation of the hips. Here for three, for two, and one. Beautiful, you guys. Slowly toe heel the feet, hip width distance apart, knees are bent. Reach the fingertips forward as you slowly lower one vertebrae at a time using the core so you come all the way onto your back. Last pose here is bridge pose, bending both knees, bringing the fingertips down by your side. Walking the fingertips back so the heels graze them. Let's take an inhale here all together. And on your exhale, press into the heels and lift your hips up. Squeeze the pelvic floor, squeeze the glutes. Knees are stacked under the ankle, pressing the hip bones up towards the sky. Here for three deep breaths. If you need a little bit of support, your hands can come underneath the lower back for a supported bridge pose. Pressing up one more inch. 
and then slowly taking your time one vertebrae at a time to lower your sacrum comes down last pulling both knees into your chest rocking side to side and then bringing your forehead up to meet your knees, squeezing every muscle in your body as you release into final Shavasana, relaxing every muscle in your body here as you allow your body to receive the benefits of this practice. So this is an opportunity for you to support your nervous system in relaxing on continuing to focus on your breath. So just coming into the natural rhythm of your inhales and exhales. Letting everything go here. Slowly beginning to deepen your breath. Coming back to your body by wiggling your fingers and your toes. Reaching your arms above your head, taking a nice long inhalation. With the cleansing, open mouth exhalation. Bending both knees, rolling onto your right side, coming into a fetal position, using your bicep as a pillow for your head. And taking a moment here in the position of rebirth to bring to your thoughts three things you're most grateful for in this moment. Ready, slowly pressing into the left palm, coming up into a comfortable seated position. Crossing your legs, rooting down into your sits bones. Drawing the shoulders down and back away from your ears. Let's take an inhale all together, filling the belly, the chest, the lungs, holding at the top, Sipping in a little bit more air as you take an open mouth exhale, clearing and cleansing anything that doesn't serve you. Again, deep breath in, make it your deepest inhale of practice, holding at the top, sipping in a little bit more air. 
as you exhale and release any stagnant energy that may be remaining in the body. Now we'll gently bring the palms together to touch and in towards your third eye center. May you always have the intuition to see what you need to see. Bring your hands to your lips. May you always speak the truth and hear the truth. Bring your hands to your heart center. May you always be able to give love and receive love. Bowing forward to seal in your practice with so much compassion and love. Namaste.